SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. We're tracking network upgrades, and I've got several on one specific video at one specific location. If you are looking for this site, it is very easy to find. This is in Rocky River, Ohio. It is at the high school stadium. I believe this is a multi-purpose stadium, track and field events, football, obviously. I think they do soccer as well as lacrosse here, and uh, pretty much everything that's going on here is uh, it's all about handling loads of people. All right, so they. They do seat a lot of people here. Uh, it is very residential. There are a few apartments in the area. There's some business down the street. And uh, there's a lot of people to serve here, actually. And some of these sectors are facing west. Some of these sectors are facing north towards the lake. This is on Detroit Road in Rocky River, Ohio. And then the other sectors are kind of facing, uh, let's call it southeast, I suppose, all right, so they're all kind of working in the same direction, kind of addressing the needs of the people of this region, including the stadium and the residents around the stadium. All right, here's Verizon to the right on that um, that light pole. Here's T-Mobile just to the left of them. And then AT&T is in the back end and right below them, Dish on the same pole. I'm going to show you guys pictures. I'll break down what they've been doing, uh, what they're doing currently, and probably what is planned for the future on these sites. All right, interesting stuff here. Here's a nice little picture. It was getting a little dark. Some of the pictures came out decent, uh, but it did get a little challenging. So I'm going to try to show you guys as best as I can what each carrier is doing here. Again, here's Verizon to the right, uh, T-Mobile to the left, and then AT&T in the back with Dish. All right, so let's start first with Verizon. This is all the spectrum they've had for like the better part of the last couple of decades. Band 5, Band 13, PCS, Band 2. AWS Band 66, that's all there All right, for Verizon. There's some old <laughs> gear there on the edges. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's got to be taken out pretty, pretty soon. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, so um, if I can zoom in, and some of the times you guys can see the radios here, um, these smaller antenna panels, they're, they're a little different than this one, for example. This one probably has like, two different radios connected to it. Uh, these have integrated radios built into the antennas, and I'll show you what each of them does here, with the exception, I th think, here of this old CBRS. And it's I'm saying old only because it's been there for a couple of years. Uh, so here's CBRS Band 48. Here's the millimeter wave from Nokia. So, <laughs> so these are the older uh, of the higher frequency additions. These were done a couple of years ago. 39 gigahertz for the millimeter wave. Very high frequency. Uh, the the band 48 CBRS, uh, 35, uh, 3500 or 3.5 gigahertz. It's it's decent. The only problem is it's low power, right? The real money maker here is right here. Uh, that is a uh, C-band antenna and radio, uh, integrated gear, uh, radio gear. That's 3.7 gigahertz, 60 megahertz channel. That's kind of why I came by and I tested this because I picked it up a couple of miles away and I wanted to test it. All right, so that's kind of why I'm here. So these upgrades, uh, the old, the previous upgrades were done a couple of years ago, and then they came back, climbed, and added the C-band very recently because I'm I'm here often enough where I would notice if something changed, and clearly it did. All right, so here is a pretty nice picture of what you will see from multiple sectors. Here is the one that's facing away from the lake. Here is the one facing the lake, and then this one here facing me towards the parking lot and the front entrance of the school. Where you, you can pick up all, all these frequencies. All right, so that's Verizon for you. They've got a full upgrade. I've got some video footage of me testing this site. So that, you know, be on the lookout for that. Uh, here's a nice close-up of some of the radios and the antennas that are there. You can see the radio that goes with this particular antenna. Uh, here's the millimeter wave from Nokia. That They're going to probably come back, rip this out, and then put the uh, the C, um, the Samsung gear. This is... Nokia is being phased out in my market for Samsung. So they already have the N77 Seabed for Samsung. Uh, these other ones are going to get ripped out too. And they'll go towards Samsung. As well as some of these other radios. The, eventually when they're ready to replace them and they start failing, they'll go with Samsung, I'm assuming. Here's a nice close-up of the Seabed. You'll see it's fully connected. Uh, you've got the fiber, the power. It's all there. It's ready to go. Uh, there's the millimeter wave if you want to get a good view there. Here is the T-Mobile site. You've got all the frequencies here that are not N41. It's all in there. All right, so you got band 2, you have band 66, you have band 71, 
and um, what am I forgetting? Band 12. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything else, I think that's it. Uh, N71's in here too. All the radios here are behind, uh, you know, the, and, and you can kind of see them back here. This one here is, and by the way, this is a Nokia market for T-Mobile. Here's the N41. I'm going to get you guys a nice close picture. And it's, this is a very simple upgrade that T-Mobile did here. All right, here's the N41. Everybody always says, Sneed, how do you know? How can you tell? I post pictures literally all the time. Watch the videos and look at the pictures. All right, so you will see that this has every frequency that's not 2.5 gigahertz. All right, here is that one. And you'll see it's, it's. I don't think it's, I actually don't think it's live. I did some testing and I could not connect to it. So I'm not sure if they just did this and uh, it's just not live yet. Uh, but like the wiring doesn't look complete. It looks kind of weird and lazy. Uh, so you will see like the cables are not tucked away and um, you'll see the fiber cable, the power cable is there. It looks connected and active, but it wasn't broadcasting. Here's the AT&T site at the top. This is on the back of the stadium, kind of by the tree line in the first picture. Here's Dish at the bottom of this site. This is a um, couple important things to note about these tower constructions. Why was T-Mobile on one pole and Verizon on another and then AT&T and Dish on the other? And it's weight. Right, you can only put so much weight on these. When they were initially built, these, uh, these, these poles, I'm not sure how much <laughs> they were built to withstand in terms of weight. Because when things get windy and you start getting like huge, you know, massive gusts of wind, you know, these things can rock and sway and gear can be compromised and things could fall and fail. And, you know, they, they do it. They do these like these studies on what they can actually hold reliably uh, based on the typical weather patterns of Cleveland. So, the, you know, there are some limitations here. So you get the lights in the middle, at t at the top, dish just built at the bottom. I'm excited to start testing dish very soon. Here's the antenna gear and radios for at t It is a mess. I have no idea what they're doing. It's been like this for a while. Yeah, I'm hoping that they upgrade some stuff pretty soon and they can kind of clean all this up. Not good. Didn't look good at all. Uh, this is all old gear. Uh, there's nothing new added to the site for a while with the exception of maybe the Band 30. Uh, I can see the radios and the antennas for Band 30 on there. This has all the lower frequencies. You got your Band 14, your Band 12. Uh, your Band 29 might be up there. It depends on what the radios are behind it. I couldn't really get a good view because I was on the other side of the parking lot. But anyways, I'm going to be tracking this for C-band upgrades for 5G+. Plus. I'm going to look to see if some of this gets moved. There is a location here that would fit both N77 frequencies. So they'll put the DoD at the top and they'll put the, um, the C-band at the bottom. So 3.45 gigahertz at the top, 3.7 gigahertz at the bottom. But I would be concerned about the weight here. So something might have to come down or they might have to consolidate some radios to free up some weight because some of these radios weigh like 100 pounds. So I don't know. Um, we'll see what they do with that upgrade. I'm very intrigued by what they're going to do there eventually. Here's the dish upgrade for you guys. Again, I couldn't test it. I did test AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon on the site. Uh, the dish I can't test. I don't have access just yet. I tried to make an order. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if somehow some way somebody reaches out to me from dish and figures it out and I could start testing it. QR codes on the side of the antennas. If you guys have ever noticed that they put one large antenna and then they do two radios, a low band and a mid band. And that's pretty much it. These tower sites are built within a day or two. Uh, and all that's really left for them is fiber. If it's not there yet and power, if it's not there yet, and then that's it. And they pretty much move on. So that's what's going on at this particular site. Verizon, Fully upgraded, but they may have to do some swapping soon with some old Nokia gear. T-Mobile is not done at the site. Uh, we'll be testing that soon. Uh, as soon as that is on on air and live, the AT&T we're monitoring and the dish, we'll, we'll test that soon. What do you guys think of this location, who it's serving, how they did their upgrades for each of the carriers? Again, I've got a video of the actual testing of the sites in their current form. I'll be back to see what they do with the upgrades and test again once everything is upgraded from each of the carriers. Comment down below. Your thoughts and opinions are welcome. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there. Get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Also, my Twitter handle and all business inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.